Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tilly and today I'm going to be unboxing the January Illumicrate. So as always, I've got my trusty sword. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So first of all, we have got the spoiler card. As always, I'm gonna put this to one side and we will look at it at the end. But the theme for this month is Journey's End. And I remember them saying that there would be a Lord of the Rings themed item in this box. So I'm really excited. So the first thing I'm spotting is this cutlery set. And it does say on here that this is inspired by Lord of the Rings. So if we take it out of the plastic and take off the little cardboard sleeve, We've got this really pretty green tin and then we've got some really nice gold cutlery And I don't think I'm gonna take them all out of the wrapping to show you so the fork says elevenses Hopefully that will focus I don't know if you can see that. The spoon says second breakfast. We've got a chopstick, which I think is just plain. Our second chopstick and the knife says supper. And then they all fit really nicely in the tin. I think that's a really cute idea. And if you're taking lunch into work with you or you're out about, yeah, I think that's a really nice idea. And I love the little nods to the hobbits. So the second thing I'm seeing is this card holder, which says it's inspired by Saga. I very recently bought the first volume of Saga, so I can't wait to give it a read. So on one side it says, I won't won't buy any more books and then on the back it says lying with a cat I don't know who the cat is as I said I haven't read saga yet but I love this and I think it's really funny I normally use my phone rather than my cards but I do normally like to carry my cards just in case and this will be really handy oh cool we've got like a little bum bag that's so cute and it says the book eaters society we eat books not brains I love that that's so so cute oh I definitely think obviously I need to figure it out a little bit more but I think that's gonna be really really cute to sort of take with you and it's a really decent size and then we've got this wooden map I'm not too sure what fandom this one is from and also this I'm not actually too sure what this is maybe a brush holder so when you go traveling you can kind of store your brushes in which is quite a cool idea I have to say it does smell kind of funky I don't know what material they've used or whether it's the ink but I'm hoping that smell I don't know if to wash it or what but it does smell but like I said it does smell kind of funky and I have no idea what fandom this one is from and then we have the author letter interesting that this isn't with the book itself I don't know if that's just for my box and then that brings us on to the book itself now I have to be honest I have seen pictures of the book this month unfortunately a couple of people have put photos on Twitter which which is such a shame because I do like to be surprised so I have seen some pictures of the front cover and the edges but I did scroll as quickly as I could to try not to see too much so I did know that it was good God killer this month. I think the cover is slightly darker than the original. I do actually have the Waterstones special edition so I'll get that in a moment and we can compare the two. The edges are very pretty and then this is the back and then we've got some really pretty end pages and it is signed by the author. We've got some artwork on the naked hardcover. There doesn't seem to be any artwork on the other side of the dust jacket but this is the back, the spine, and the other end pages have the same design. So like I said, I've got the Waterstones edition, so you can see them sort of side by side. So the Illumicrate one is much darker. That's a comparison of the edges. If I'm honest, I prefer the tones of the Waterstones edition. And then that's the back. If I'm honest, I'm a little bit disappointed with this one as I much prefer the colours in the Waterstones edition and the original. I do think the sprayed edges are really, really cool. And I do love the painted hardcover with the three characters and the end pages are beautiful however the end pages of the original are also very beautiful as well so yeah i think i prefer my waterstones edition but i am happy that i do have both i have actually read god killer and i gave it four stars but in case you weren't aware of the synopsis for this one i will read it for you now you are not welcome here god killer kisson's family were killed by zealots of a fire god now she makes a living killing gods and enjoys it that is, until she finds a god she cannot kill. Skeddy, a god of white lies, has somehow bound himself to a young noble, and they are both on the run from unknown assassins. Joined by a disillusioned knight on a secret quest, they must travel to the ruined city of Blendradden, where the last of the wild gods reside, to each beg a favour. Pursued by demons, and in the midst of burgeoning civil war, they will all face a reckoning. Something is rotting at the heart of the kingdom. So lastly, let's have a little look through the spoiler card. So first of all, we've got 
the David Bard wooden mat. I've not read the David Bard trilogy, so that's probably why I don't recognise it. Plan your journey through David Bard with a sturdy wooden mat from City of Brass. And the map was designed by Nicolette's Cavern, and the border design was done by Niall Grant. I think this is cute if it's a fandom that you are aware of. I'm not really aware of this one, so I don't know what to do with this, but I do think it would look cute on your shelves as decoration. And then we have the Secret Society bag, and this was designed by Vicky Lester. Pack everything you need for your travels in this useful bag inspired by the Bikitas. I definitely think this is one of my favourites this month. We also have the Middle Earth cutlery sets. So this was designed by Jane Tibbetts. Do you operate on Hobbit mealtimes? Then this cutlery set inspired by Lord of the Rings is for you. We also have the Mortal Sorrel pencil wrap. Oh okay so it's a pencil wrap. Interesting. I think you could still store your makeup brushes in this as well. And this was designed by Abigail Spence. Use this pencil wrap inspired by an enchantment of ravens to safely transport all of your art supplies. I've not read an enchantment of ravens but I can kind of see it that it has a raven on it. And then just lastly we've got the lying card holder. This card holder featuring the lion cat from Saga is essential for storing your cards. Perfect for when you go book shopping. And this was designed by Franzi Skirt Sten. So in terms of my thoughts this month I think my favourite items are definitely the book eaters bag as well as the Lord of the Rings cutlery sets. I think the pencil holder slash brush holder if I can use it for brushes I think it would definitely be a lot more useful for me and I do really like this card holder I think it's really sweet and I do think I will get some use out of this. The book as I said I'm a little bit disappointed as I think I do prefer the Waterstones edition so interestingly this month I definitely think I prefer the items over the book. But let's have a little sneak peek as to what's to come in a February's box. So the theme for February's box is Into the Fire. Our chosen book this month is a Zion Zia, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, inspired YA fantasy. In a world where colonisation has crushed the magic system of the land, a girl with a mysterious past must confront the secrets locked within her memory and the untranslatable mark on her arm. With the help of a boy she is reluctant to trust and the enemy hunting them down, will they be able to achieve their goals? I'm not actually too sure what book that is but it does sound quite intriguing, although it does sound quite like other YA books. Also in that box we're going to get items inspired by the a poppy war legend born daughter of the moon goddess and there's a fandom neutral item as well i've not read any of those fandoms but i know they are definitely favorites within the booktube community we've included some items subscribers love as well as a new item we've never done before and are very excited about oh that's very intriguing i wonder what the new item is and it says sneak peek this box will inspire our new book jacket from poor hammy inspired by the poppy war oh oh i'm very very intrigued by that but yeah what did you think of the box this month did you like the items did you like the book let me know in the comments as always if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next one thanks for watching bye guys